The two big promoters don't do business with each other, and as a result of that, in any given moment, you can isolate which attractive fight, whether it's Donaire Maris or whether it's Santa Cruz Rigando, isn't being made as a result. Is there any one big fight on the Golden Boy Top Rank Horizon which could draw them back to the table? Yeah, I've been sitting here, Jim, just scribbling down lists of fights I would love to see if the Golden Boy top rank war would ever end. And you can go on and on. You can talk about Danny Garcia and uh, Lucas Matisse. You can talk about uh, Garcia and Bravonikov, rather, Rios and Matisse at the top of the list. So many great fights. But look, if Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather can't, can't bring these two sides together, a fight that could be worth in excess of $180 million, maybe more, even higher than that, if, they, if pay-per-view buys go the way some expect them to potentially go, Nothing is going to end this, Jim. These two sides are too dug in and too satisfied with the money they're making right now and with how everything's going respectively for their own promotional outfits right now to make any type of deal. And look, we talked about the success of boxing in 2013. It has been very successful. But these promoters are you know, absolutely sabotaging the sport, in my opinion. There is no way for boxing to grow into the mainstream the way boxing needs to unless all the best fights are consistently made. And as long as you have these two sides at odds, we will not consistently get the best fights. In mid-December, Oscar De La Hoya tweeted a friendly holiday wish to Bob Arum and his family and suggested it's time for them to begin doing business again together. Is there any meaning at all in that? There is absolutely no meaning at all in that tweet. I mean, look, it's a nice gesture from Oscar De La Hoya, but Oscar is also the same man who said there should be one promotional outfit in all of boxing, and that should be Golden Boy Promotions. I think Oscar would love to do certain types of fights. I think he would love to just put his own guys in there. But the simple fact remains that Golden Boy thinks what they do is the right way to go and how they operate is the right way to operate, and Top Rank thinks the exact same thing. You just simply can't get these two guys in a room that can agree on a breakfast order, much less on making a fight. I think we're still going to see next year these two sides divided and still will not see the best fights. All right, Chris, thanks very much for your time. We appreciate all your insight. You got it.